It's a very important day for Victoria and for Guerrero. Who would possibly imagine that someday in the future these historic cities will be united by sharing history in the past and sharing friendship in the present? As a foreign Texas A&M graduate, I understand that whoever that has one foot on this side of the river and the other side has a better opportunity to understand both cultures and to share common interests. Today in Mexico, we are passing tough times. Unemployment, on security, drought, bad energetic reforms, etc. But Zapata, a well Mexican revolutionary, he said, I'd rather die standing than to live down on my knees. That's what we need to do, to keep going but living with that we are strong enough to support these adversities and always look for alternatives that both countries will work hard to benefit, or at least to be more conscious on issues that matter our nations. When Mayor Armstrong visited Guerrero during the Watermelon Fest, he proved that our town is a Pacific one. He rode horseback next to me about 10 miles, while his wife rode with my wife Sophia on a bottle. During the horse parade, I told Mayor Armstrong, do you feel okay? He said, I'm fine. <laughs> this is wonderful. So, just to prove that, I'm giving you this saddle. <laughs> More than 310 years ago, Spanish soldiers, Diego and Domingo Ramon, founded Real Presidio de Rio Grande, known as Guerrero today. When they decided to cross the Rio Grande to Texas, Spanish land in those days, the Camino Real, they established missions in San Antonio, Victoria, and somewhere else. Those brave men fought against the climate, the weather, and whatever was on his way to find better opportunities. Better opportunities, that's what we need. And this is one of the reasons why Mayor Armstrong and myself are here in front of you to let you know that we care for our people, for our towns, for our countries. We believe in free trade, in good migratory reforms, in our common history, in economic issues that will benefit everybody, no, no matter their religion or their ethnic group. In other words, we believe that everybody has equal opportunities. I don't want to finish my speech giving a special thanks to my governor, Robert Moreira, to my friend, Bill Millet, and to Senator Jesus Maria Ramon, descendant of Diego Ramon, who are basically the ones who support to make this day possible. To my wife, Sofia, to the delegation of Guerrero, over there, my parents that are here, and the people of Victoria, because you are the ones who make this day so important. Mayor Armstrong, it's hard to find a person like you. But I'm glad God put you on my way because I'm sure that today won't be the last day we'll get together to finish what we have in mind, to be partners in history and to find opportunities for our cities and for our people. Thank you very much. Thank you.